I have created a Canva account. Now, how do I use it? As you can see, Canva offers many templates, resumes, presentations. If you scroll down, you can see all the design types that template that Canva has for you. You have social media options, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. You can create documents, resume, letterheads. You can use those for interviews. You could create business cards, brochures for class, Google header. The options are endless. For today's example, I'm going to show you how to create and edit an infographic. Notice, when you first start, you start with a blank page. On the left, Canva offers many different templates to choose from. Notice, in the bottom right-hand corner, some say free, some do not. This one is going to charge you money to use their layout. So make sure when you're uh, selecting that you choose one that fits your needs, but also says free. So go ahead and scroll down and find a template that works for your needs and that says free. Once you select one, go ahead and click on it and it will throw it over into your workspace. From here, we can edit many different things. Notice you're starting with an image that's 19% of the actual size. Go ahead and enlarge it so that we can see what we're working with. When you look at the top, you already have some preloaded text and some images. If you click on an image and you do not like it, throw it off the page and it is now gone. You can edit the colors. Click on an image. This document is white, pink, and dark. I can change it to gray. Notice if I want to change any piece of my text that is white, I can click this, and now they are all changing to gray. I can change this white to yellow. So you can play around with the different colors. You can rotate. You can enlarge your images. With text. You can highlight your text. You can change the font type. You can change the size. You can make your text box wider, shorter. I can move it around. I can also make it bold. Now, not every font type will let you create a bold. So if this is grayed out, as the italics is, then that will not let you choose that option. I can left justify, center or right. I can make everything uppercase. I can use bullets, etc. So those are how I change my font. Also, when you're working with images, you can copy if you want another the same size you can still edit and change that i can arrange it and move it to the back so that it is behind or in front of an object i can move it to the back so now my syringe is in front i can make it where it does not stand out as much it kind of fades into the background so if i wanted to put text on top of it i would probably change my text to a white or something that is not, that can be seen better. And then I could move that on top. When I have an image, I could hyperlink it so that it could go to something else. If I want to add my own image, you go to upload. You're going to search it on your computer. You're going to click on the image that you want to upload. Once it is fully uploaded, the green bar will disappear and you're able to bring it over into your document. You can make it bigger or smaller. I can change the angle. You could flip it, crop it, filter it, etc. So that is the basic 101 of how to edit, design, and change Canva. Once you have an image and you're happy with it, I would go ahead and retitle it, whatever your assignment is, and save it. Now we are going to download. 
If you are creating an image to use on social media, you'll want to make sure that you save it as a JPEG or a PNG. If it's something that you're going to print, I would always do a PDF. So you are going to download. Notice where you are saving it to your computer. This will allow you to do many things. You can print from here, upload, etc. So once your infographic or media is saved, you can go ahead and print your document. I hope you have had fun learning how to use Canva.